Hello friends, welcome to VTeach Academy and here in this video we are going to discuss an example on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. So here the given example is if 0 is less than theta less than pi by 8 then show that under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus 2 cos 4 theta is equal to 2 cos theta by 2. So first let us find the value for pi by 8. So pi by 8 is nothing but 180 degrees divided by 8 which is equal to 22 degrees. So 0 is less than theta is less than pi by 8. So we can say that theta belongs to quadrant 1. So in order to prove let us consider LHS side that is under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus 2 cos 4 theta. And then by taking 2 as the common factor we get here under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 into 1 plus cos 4 theta and then cos 4 theta can be written as cos 2 into 2 theta. So now let us write cos 4 theta in terms of cos 2 into 2 theta. So by writing we get here under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 into 1 plus cos 2 into 2 theta and now let us consider 2 theta as a. So here by considering we get the formula that is 1 plus cos 2a which is equal to 2 cos square a. So by using this formula of multiple angle so let us write 1 plus cos 2 into 2 theta in terms of 2 cos square theta. So by writing we get here under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 into 2 cos square 2 theta. And then let us consider 2 into 2 which is nothing but 2 square we can write it in the form of 2 cos 2 theta whole square. So now let us write it. So here by writing we get under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 into 2 which is 4. So we get here 2 cos 2 theta whole square. And here square and square root gets cancelled. So that implies we get here under root 2 plus under root 2 plus 2 cos 2 theta. And then again taking 2 as the common factor we get here under root 2 plus under root 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta. And now again here this is in the form of 1 plus cos 2a and let us assume theta as a here which is equal to 2 cos square a. So now let us use this formula. So by using this formula we get under root 2 plus under root 2 into the formula which is 2 cos square a and that is cos square theta here and now we can write this in the form of 2 cos theta whole square. So that implies we get here under root 2 plus under root 2 cos theta whole square. And then here square square root gets cancelled. So we are left with under root 2 plus 2 cos theta. And again by taking 2 as the common factor we get under root 2 into 1 plus cos theta. And now this is in the form of 1 plus cos a. So by using the formula of the submultiple angle which is cos a by 2 is equal to plus or minus under root 1 plus cos a divided by 2. And from here this formula we can derive the formula for 1 plus cos a which will be equal to 2 cos square a by 2. So by using this formula of some multiple angle we get here under root 2 into 2 cos square a by 2 that is 2 cos square theta by 2. And then again we can write this in the form of 2 cos theta by 2 whole square. So by writing we get under root 2 cos theta by 2 whole square. And then again square square root gets cancelled and we are left with 2 cos theta by 2. So hence this is the value on the RHS side. So therefore we proved that under root 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 2 plus 2 cos 4 theta is equal to 2 cos theta by 2. And make a note of these formulas of multiple and submultiple angles as these formulas are very useful in solving examples in further videos. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on trigonometry on our channel vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.